I'm working hard. And uh, so I thought, well, I'll do something for Mark. I mean, um, we've known Mark for years, since he was a little baby, he'd work with my boys. He used to um, wrap the bales when Stephen bailed them, you know, they've, they've been mates for years, my dad. So, uh, and uh, Martin, you know, he very often just pop in, pass the door, and come in with something to eat. You know, he was saying, God, I'm not there for Martin. Not there, I say, hey. And uh, this is one of my little signs I keep in my kitchen. It says, countless people have eaten in this kitchen. And gone on to the <laughs> <laughs> celebrations today. It was really a joy, a most tender moment, as earlier today, your dear dad gave you away. I have known Mark since he was knee-high to an ant, <laughs> when he used to come to our farm for titties with Peggy, his gran. I knew then he would grow up to be a wonderful man. Back then, with his dimple knees and his hands so chubby, <laughs> I knew that one day he'll make some lucky girl a wonderful hubby. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm not going to go on about everything I know about this cat. You know the things that they all fight and scratch. <laughs> or you know the kind of antics and frolics these young men in the past have got up to. Nor the times when things are not going their way and the language is getting a bit blue. No. The more time now is a young man who enjoys culinary delights. <laughs> 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 yes, more he knows what a knife and fork is meant for. Over the years, Mark would be passing by to see Ian, my son. Just as I was dishing up the grub to eat, <laughs> Ian would say, come in, Mark, and take a seat. Then he would say, you've got enough there for more, any mother? <laughs> yes, I'd reply. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> now, here's a yarn about one such night about five years ago. <laughs> after me all. I had on my right leg. Well, I hope he did, but I don't think he did. <laughs> anyway, that night, we had boiled titties, rubber beans, and succulent pork chops. <laughs> well, Ian pipes up with his usual request. Well, yes, I reply. There are two pork chops in the cool of it, some veg on the top. You can dish it up for your guest. In the cool oven, he looks and says, Well, what do you mean? Two pork chops. I can only see one. <laughs> Don't be so daft, I reply. When just out of the corner of my eye, Dinky. <laughs> <laughs> Ian's Jack Russell under the kitchen table, I spy. <laughs> In front of him, was <laughs> <laughs> that Not chewed at all, but just strategically <laughs> between his two front feet. <laughs> oh my God, look at that! <laughs> Ian bent down, hold out the trunk, <laughs> and did an eyelid bat. <laughs> what happened next, you'll never believe, but I assure you, it's right enough. Ian placed the chop <laughs> alongside the other and blew off some offended blood. <laughs> this makes a fetch for Lord and told him, there, now you can start. <laughs> Ian, I said you can't do that. <laughs> Why not? My dear son retorted, at least just dog's ears. You can see them. <laughs> <laughs> 
Lord don't mind. He's a man from the moor. He's a man from the moor. He don't eat anything. It's only mort. Deer, rabbit, pigeon, or if he's lucky, even a bit of wild boar. Poor Lord. He gave a cheery grin, tucked him to the grub set before him, with gravy trickling down his chin. Dear mother, what did I tell you, see, Mort Edison? This isn't the first time, nor the last time, for his team Mort will fall. But Mort, now you've got dear Sarah, and she's taken on this tour. I expect he enjoyed your cuisine <laughs> and quite often asks for more. <laughs> Mark, you're a smashing bloke, and Mark, we know you can take a joke. But now, all joking aside, today is your special day. You have taken dear Sarah as your beautiful bride. To each other, you have pledged your troth. Now, I have a few words of advice for you both. <laughs> Speaking of a wife of 40 odd years, let me tell you, you'll have good times and sometimes you'll shed tears. <coughs> Sharing together the good times and bad, the happy times and sometimes the sad. Loving and caring for each other is not all chocolates and flowers. Loving and caring is all about being there for each other in troubled times and in the darkest hours. But you two are made of really strong stuff. You'll be there for each other when the going gets tough. So without much more ado, let's all raise our glasses to both of you, wishing you happiness for the rest of your night. To Mart, a new husband, and Sarah, his beautiful wife, a toast to Mark and Sarah. Mark and Sarah. God bless you both.